Gentlemen, uh, as we mentioned earlier in the beginning of this edition of the Breakfast Show, we'll be talking about Egypt's economic performance in light of uh, the Central Bank of February in preparing a systematic diagnostic in Egypt, the Ministry of the Strategic Framework for Egypt for the year 2021-2025. In order to know more uh, about this very important issue, we're very much delighted to have with us the economic expert. Morning. Good morning. Now, I'll start with uh, how has the public stability this So it's a very timely decision taken by the with one of the president of the to the Egyptian fund in 2016. Of course, extremely difficult for all the Egyptians, but no other option. And the good thing uh, is that, as you know, there are some medicines, you better take it once and for all, it hurts, but then you don't need to take it again. Yes. And that is exactly what happened, is that it was a really terrible medicine, but it allowed the country to uh, meet the coming challenges in a better shape. Yes. And what is fantastic is that the Egyptians have really understood that in spite of everything, they had to cope with it, and uh, we didn't have any social unrest. And so that, that was one part of the problem. The other have started in the same time a major series of infrastructure projects. Hmm. And of course, there are a lot of persons who say, but we are getting so much in debt, this is not the right thing to do. But I have enough economic expert in the world who has demonstrated that in this kind of out is it to invest project. The good shape we are in at the present time, alhamdulillah. Yes. Um, uh, Mrs. Dura, how was the Egyptian economy able to achieve the economic growth? of a greatest IMF report while also easing the impact of economic reform on the most needy groups in the Egyptian society. But that is also to the fact that in parallel a program of uh, uh, social safety net uh, income distributed, I mean cash transfer to the uh, poor families mm -hmm. and the people in need and uh, so that has played quite a major role. And also, of course, with the arrival of the COVID, the, all the facilities provided to uh, the businesses in, in terms of uh, delaying the uh, dues, in particular for the tourist sector. Mm. So, it, I mean, for a, an, an economic program to succeed, it has to combine the monetary aspect, the fiscal aspect, the socioeconomic aspect in the same time. Of course, yes. Now the challenge is uh, how does the government going to uh, involve the private sector in all those national programs? Mm -hmm. uh, from my view, the most important one of all is the program fantastic program launched by the president 
of uh, renovating, upgrading the 1,500 villages. Yes. Because this is really grassroots. Mm. If, if you uh, really do a good uh, standard of life and uh, good conditions in the rural areas, one, it is the social duty of any country, any government. Uh, that's a clear fact. The second is that from a purely socioeconomic point of view, you are going to give to, uh, especially the young generation, and mm. the majority of the Egyptians are young, mm. better, re more reasons to remain in their area where they can definitely make a better living than running to the cities. Mm -hmm. And uh, you will decrease the uh, pressure on the cities Mm. and make uh, life comfortable in the countryside. Of course, yes. yes. But for this, you mm. need to bring, to involve the private sector, small, medium and large, not just in providing uh, the, um, the, the but mm. to literally be involved in creating new activities. Exactly, yes. I'd like to say very much, Mr. Rayani, economic expert. Thank you very much for being with us this morning. And uh, I'd like also to thank our guests in the edition of the Breakfast Show. Uh, this brings us to the end of this edition of the program. We're with another crew in your